Hello everyone. In this video, we will review Simplicity 11.1's feature of exposing its screens through a web space plugin in Operations Hub. Today we will walk through the required properties that you need to set on the plugin in order for it to retrieve and show Simplicity screen. To do this, we'll start with a new fresh web space uh, page inside of an Operations Hub application. You can see I have nothing in my container so far. I'm just going to start by going to the uh, list of uh, plugins on the left. And you can see that in 11.1 uh, we have added a Simplicity HMI web space plugin. And if you open up the help for it here, you can see that it gives some details, including a description, a detailed description of all the different properties you can set. So today, in this video, we're going to go through the essential properties, and in a subsequent video, we'll describe all of the other properties. So to do this, I'm just going to drag in this web space plugin, go to the property page, and just go quickly through the most important properties to start with. Some of these are standard. But for a web space plugin, you need a web space server. In our case, we're running web space right on the same machine as web of op as Operations Hub. This won't always be the case. So you'll need to give the web space server name of where web space is running alongside of Simplicity. And we'll set that to manual. In a future video, we'll talk about dynamically setting that. The next critical property to set is the Simplicity screen path and to, it's important to note that this is a screen path relative to your web space server not relative to where you're running your browser. So in my case I am running a Simplicity project on this same uh, machine. If I explore that project you can see my screens are under this path and we're going to show the mixer screen so if I go back to my web space plugin and I put in that path to that relative to that project and the mixer screen dot sim is the name of my sim view screen. So finally, in my case, I've installed Simplicity on a different port for the web server uh, because that port was taken by another application. So instead of 9443, which is the default and likely one you will just be able to reuse, if during the install of Simplicity you change this port, you'll need to enter that here. This is for the Nginx web server that the Simplicity's web space interaction is running behind. So now with that, I'll save it. This application now is runnable and I can go ahead and open that app and it will go out to the web space server, make a session, and open up that screen and view it running with Simplicity data. You can see the screen starting up, and you can see that mixer is running. So here's that same screen in SimView, and I'll go ahead and, uh, and show you what it looks like in SimView. And you can see that that's that same screen running, in this case, inside of Operations Hub. In the next video, we'll show you some of the other properties that allow you to uh, use the flexibility of how you show these screens through different properties.